Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00. This is my Lore and Theories video series. In this episode, we will explore the division the community has over the art style debate, and how it could possibly be explained, or even solved. The community is divided, clearly and concisely. The division is around the art style differences from the Bungie era of Halo to the 343 era of Halo. A quick scout around the forums, Facebook groups, Reddit posts, and YouTube reveals this to be the case. There are heated debates as to why one art style is better than another, reasons for aesthetic differences, and which should be the art style going forward. Setting aside the fact that 343 are already taking steps to adjust to community response to their art direction, and that Halo Wars 2 was actually a very good hybrid of those styles, which arguably made lore sense, there is a way these two seemingly incompatible styles can actually seamlessly coexist and even a way every player can choose which one they would prefer to see. I've discussed before that Chief's armour in Halo 4 is actually canonically explainable if you consider that it's a Mark VI but with Mark VII testbed prototypes, and that Cortana redesigned his armour during his cryosleep between 2553 and 2557. The Elite's more bulky armour may be due to them being a separate force than those of the Covenant that we're used to seeing with older pre-Covenant style battle harnesses, their stocky build likely due to them being a separate subspecies or race due to their different colony worlds. Elites may have more pronounced differences from race to race due to selective breeding. You also have to bear in mind that the Elites' highly military culture for hundreds of generations, different keeps, states, houses and military doctrines will have a pronounced physiological effect. If one house favours brute force and more upright posture, compact mandible and skull structure, and trains accordingly, males and females will partner based on these physiological features. Offspring will thus express these features more, concentrating and compounding these features, leading to different looks to the point of appearing as a different subspecies. The jackal's more saurian appearance rather than avian has been confirmed of being due to being separate subspecies. The change in forerunner architectural design being possibly due to structures being built either by the builders, the miners, warrior servants or life worker races of the forerunner, or combinations of all. These explanations go a fairly decent way to explain their in-game changes in relation to the greater lore. That being said, even with this explanation, it still has people divided because some really do not like the new art style, even if the old one still exists in the lore and a logical explanation is given for the change. The solution? Anniversary, my dear Watson. That's how that quote goes, right? No, really. In Halo CE Anniversary and in Halo 2 Anniversary, they had the Anniversary graphics as well as remastered graphics. Click of a button and you can switch between them, admittedly a lot smoother in Halo 2 Anniversary. Why not implement a similar system? The default graphics being the hybrid mix of new and old style based on its lore explanation. Click the back button once and you switch to the new 343 art style completely. Click back again, you get the Bungie era art style, albeit with newer graphical fidelity. Just like that, you've pleased the entire Halo community. If you prefer Bungie style, set it as your personal default. And that's all you see by default unless you choose to change it. Prefer the newer 343 style? Set that as your default instead. Happy with the direction of the art style and supporting lore and where it's going with this new hybrid look? Leave it as default and enjoy the game. To implement this for local playback only so it doesn't actually affect networked gameplay like multiplayer shouldn't be too difficult. It might mean that more than one graphical engine will be running simultaneously, but really graphics engines do work on placeholder models, so again it shouldn't be too difficult to implement. In the same way the graphics in general are all processed locally but synced with other consoles via Xbox Live for seamless gameplay, the user's chosen art style could be processed locally exclusively and not have a bearing on anyone else's art style because syncing would be done simply based on gameplay dynamics rather than aesthetics. This does, in some degree, sidestep the issue. The lore art style would then be highly subject to personal preference rather than canonically accurate. Rather than having the intended art style 
being the only one available would be selective. You'd still have your default art style, but the older and newer art being available for players should be taken simply as an aesthetic personal preference, although I still foresee conflict on which is right. While it's relatively simple to implement, obviously it does involve having three different graphics engines simultaneously working in tandem with each other, which will be quite burdensome on some of the Xbox consoles, although some of the newer ones are arguably powerful enough to keep up. So that may inhibit its actual implementation, so it is unlikely to be so, but it's an idea that popped into my head that I figured I'd share. Have I just solved the art style debate? I don't think so, but it's an idea. What's yours? Thanks for watching. Stick your comments down below and I look forward to what you have to say. If you're new to the channel and like lore theories and hero technology being analysed at insane levels of detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so next time I put a video out you're told the second it hits the shelves. I want to thank the Halo community over at Mino for their support of the channel and my rambling blog post over there. If you're not already a member, strongly recommend it, jump aboard, link is in the description. Also if you really like the channel, consider popping over to Patreon and give whatever you can over there. It massively helps me out and frees up more time for me to put into this Halo content and drives towards an ultimate goal that I'm sure you'll love. More details on that in the near future. Thanks again everyone. Now go rest your brains.